Hey everybody, so we are on chapter 15 of our um, book, Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. And it is the lie that I will never get past this. So how many of you guys have had some pretty bad trauma in your lives? It can be big, it can be small, it can be childhood related, it could be adult related, it could be <clears throat> something as simple as your car broke down. So everybody's got different levels of trauma, right? And it's how we handle those different levels of trauma. So in this particular chapter, um, she talks about losing her brother to suicide. And that's a really big one. And especially for those of us that have a lot of our friends and family that we've lost to suicide. Um, it's very touchy subject and it's really difficult sometimes to get through. And we think that we um, will never get past it, right? Well... This was something that really stuck through to me on this chapter was that there was a time when even um, with my future stretched all out in front of me, I could see, all I could see was the blood and fear and the loss, but I'm still here and so are you. I am still here because I refuse to let anything or anyone decide what I get to have. I am still here because I refuse to let my trauma have the last word. I am still here because I will not let a nightmare have more power over my dreams. I am still here because I didn't allow a hard time to make me weak. I willed it to make me strong. So for me, two of my biggest traumas in my personal life is getting a divorce and losing my mother. Two things that I struggled with for many, many, many years to get through. And I still have hard days. There's no easy days to it. Some days are a lot more challenging than others. Some days are a lot easier than others. Some days you laugh. Some days you cry. But to go through and not acknowledge it and ignore it, it doesn't make it go away. But the more you live it and the more you get in touch with your feelings and get in touch with... Um, what you're thinking about it, it actually does ha it does help you get through that process. So another um, paragraph that I want to read to you guys from her book is losing my brother was the most was the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. But it does not define my life. You can live through something that rocks your world off of its axis. You can survive losing a piece of your heart without losing the core of who you are. More than merely surviving the loss, you can thrive. You can do it because it's what you deserve. More importantly, you can survive the loss because it's the greatest honor you can give to that person that you lost. Even if the person who's gone was your younger, more innocent self. So some of the things that helped her get through some of this horrific trauma that she experienced was going to therapy. And I will tell you guys, it is a, a godsend for that. Like, seriously, I've been to therapy and it has helped me through some of the most darkest times in my life when I was really, really depressed, when I was had really bad anxiety. I mean, I couldn't even go outside because I was so utterly out of it. Um, talking about it, that's another great way to get through it. You would be surprised as to how many of us have so many things in common with each other that if we just shared our stories, we can actually have empathy and show sympathy towards each other. And, you know, you can get a hug. I mean, how awesome is that? And then making yourself think about it. I know it sounds a little challenging at times to sit there and dwell on those things, but it does help you get through the hard times and it does help you overcome those things. And then you can find the good in everything. And there is good in everything. Sometimes we have to look harder sometimes to find that. Um, a great example is even yesterday, this is actually kind of funny. So Monday morning, you gotta love them, right? So my daughter Taylor, she was putting on her backpack and her backpack got caught in a cord. Well, this cord goes up to a um, kind of like a shrine kind of thing. I don't know if I wanna use the word shrine, but anyway, what it is is it's a, um, a light and inside this light are the petals from my mom's memorial service. And so we have it lit at all times and that's how we honor her. Well, she knocked it off the shelf and quote unquote broke it. So I didn't know yesterday morning if I should laugh or if I should cry or if I should yell at her, you know, like what do you do, right? So I chose that that was my mom's way of saying happy birthday to my son because it was my son's birthday yesterday. And so 
I tried to laugh it off, but it was a little challenging and a little hard. So later on in the day, we found a different light bulb and we put it on and now it works just fine. So you can always find the good in everything. You just have to try to look a little deeper and a little further and you can overcome those things. So tomorrow we are gonna hit chapter 16 and it is the lie that I can't tell the truth. So I'm looking forward to reading this chapter and seeing what it's all about, but hopefully this will help you guys overcome those bad things that happen in our lives and to keep believing in yourselves and keep pushing forward.